Hi, and welcome to The Gist. There was a time in human history when we had very little control over our lives and limited information on which to base decisions. But today, it's almost unthinkable that the internet didn't exist until just a few decades ago. How did we survive without browsers and apps that, with a few keystrokes, deliver a deluge of content before us? Yet there comes a point when this information seeking can become compulsive. It can go beyond the need to research and enter the realm of obsessive analysis. We might find ourselves unable to stop searching for just one more nugget of information. I wonder if our minds, as amazing as they are, can rationally sift through all this content. Can we really make sense of it all? And does it lead to a confused and muddled mind? My children find it appalling that when I was a student, I spent hours in a library pouring through books to gather research for projects. That I didn't have a cell phone to instantly look things up when I needed to. Growing up, my family moved a fair bit out of necessity due to different jobs in different locations. Without the internet, we were only able to gather limited information about each new area we were going to move to. We had no choice but to figure things out as we went, problem solve and make the best of our circumstances. Sometimes I crave these simpler times when I just knew less. But I'm also grateful for the gift of the internet. My work requires various types of analysis and having information at my fingertips is an incredible asset. And for personal questions like everything from where to travel, which activities to choose for our children, or even which recipe to make for dinner, we all rely on the internet for answers. So there's no need to turn back the clock and give up these amazing resources. The real issue is controlling how we use them and addressing our need to chase after content. I sometimes get stuck in this information gathering mode, wanting to leave absolutely no stone unturned. I convince myself that if I search long and hard enough, I'll have all the data I need to make a particular decision and to ensure that it's the best of all possible decisions. Maybe you can relate to this feeling too. But of course, no decision is perfect and you can never predict the future completely. So if, like me, you find your mind going into overdrive, take a step back. Try to understand the root of this behavior. Is it fear that's at the heart of this endless information seeking? Or procrastination, delaying decisions because we're afraid to commit to one path? Are we afraid of being blamed? Are we comparing our choices to others? Or just trying to find enough justification for our decisions? A powerful way to deal with mental overdrive is called the noting technique, often used in mindfulness practices. Simply noticing that you're entering a compulsive state of thinking can be the first step towards breaking its spell. We can simply pause, sit or stand where we are, and take a few deep breaths. Notice the uncomfortable physical sensations that come with this state. Perhaps tension or discomfort in the body, a loss of appetite, or conversely cravings for comforting foods or substances. We might be engaging in reassurance seeking endlessly talking to friends and family to validate our analysis and decision making. These behaviors, while they might appear helpful, are actually detracting from a calm mind that can properly analyze situations, conduct effective research, and come to a reasonable decision. Of course, many other factors like genetics, past experiences, and health issues can contribute to these behaviors along with the quality of our sleep, diet, and exercise. While the reasons behind our thoughts and feelings can be complex, it is possible to regain control over our mind in overdrive. 
So give the noting technique a try and see if it helps you grapple with life's decisions in a calmer, more compassionate way. On that note, wishing you a great week ahead. Be well and see you next time on The Gist.